Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So in today's video we're going to be playing around with some Balm Pretty X Jelly Gels. Um, they are the new Hema Free Gels or Hema Free however you say it. Um, so here they are and I'm going to be doing a set on the practice hand. So I've got Milky Jelly 04 and the 071. Now these are the ones that I recently got from Balm Pretty and um, I swatched them for you but I wanted to have a play around with them and some of this soft PVC gel it's called and it's uh, a 3D sort of moulding gel so it's like the non-stick extension gel um, that you can do 3D work with but as the name suggests it's softer than that so it's easier to use um, and I've not actually used it before so I decided to just have a go and um, the flowers, the petals weren't perfect um, but they were alright for a first go so I definitely like the product and I'm going to get some more of them um, and have a bit more of a play with them because they do come in some really nice colours. I'm using the Glitter Jelly number 7 and that is a gorgeous iridescent colour and I'm using that on the pinky finger and the pointer finger. And then I'm using the Milky Jelly 04 on the ring finger and the middle finger. So these Born Pretty gels, they do cure for 60 seconds. So I'm going to cure each coat for 60 seconds. And I'm going to put two coats of each of those colours on. And then I'm going to use the matte top coat from Born Pretty and the super top coat. And I'm going to matte top coat the middle fingers, so the ones with the milky jelly colour on. Because um, they're the ones that I'm going to be putting the 3D gel on. And the other two, um, I wasn't really sure what I was going to do with them at this point. Because I just love that um, that glitter colour on its own. Um, so I decided just to put the super top coat on just to protect them. So that I didn't uh, mess up that gel polish. So they also get cured in the lamp for 60 seconds. And then I'm going to show you the gel that I'm using. So I'm using a sort of slightly blue toned one. Um, I will put links to everything that I've used in the description along with the number of it. Um, but that one went with this uh, glitter colour the best. So that's why I chose that one. So I'm also using Milky Jelly 01. And I'm using that over this matted nail just to basically map out where I want the petals um, and if you put them straight down onto a colour because they are quite sheer you can't really see the petals very well so I did want to just make the flower first um, in the the white jelly gel and then put the petals over the top and that just made the colour pop a little bit more. So after I've cured that jelly gel I have put some finger protectors on because I am going to make a little ball of this PVC gel. So I'm just rolling a little ball of it between those fingers that have got the protectors on. And then I'm just placing that down onto the nail where I want the first petal to go. And then I'm just using, this is like a smaller silicone tool, but it's one of the, um, the pointy ones. And I'm just using that just to sort of manipulate the petal into place. And now this was really, really fiddly because I was doing it on the practice hand. I'd, before, I'd done a little test on a nail tip and that was fine because I had it right in front of me and it was really easy to do it. But then when that, I was actually doing it on the practice hand, um, it wasn't in the position that I was used to. So it was a bit more difficult. So that's why it takes me a while to do it and have sped it up. But yeah, like with anything, um, like with freehand painting, 3D um, sculpting, um, just takes a bit of practice. And once you're used to it, then you've got it. But I haven't done it for so long um, that it did take me a while. And I wasn't completely happy with the petals in the end. But like I say, it's my first go for a while. So I wasn't too bothered. So I'm doing this one. I'm only doing three petals. And then I'm going to use a rhinestone for the middle of the flower. Um, and then I'm going to do the, exactly the same but sort of flipped upside down on the ring finger but I'm doing that off camera um, because I couldn't do it on camera, it would have took me far too long. And it's exactly the same as what I'm doing on the middle finger but it's just, it's just flipped, that's all. So I do cure the gel after I've done each petal just so that I don't mess it up by touching one when the other one's still not cured. Even though it does show people rolling this product around um, in their fingers without any gloves on, I would not recommend that. I'd make sure, because this is still uncured gel, so I would make sure that you wear gloves or finger protectors when you're doing this. 
So I'm just going to put a little bit of rhinestone glue in at the bottom of those petals where I want the rhinestone to go and then I'm just popping that on and then curing that for 30 seconds so that it doesn't go anywhere. Um, and now you'll be able to see that I have done the petals on the other finger, on the ring finger and I'm just now going in putting some rhinestones um, and caviar beads onto this pointer finger I did also do this on the pinky finger but I didn't do it on camera because it's exactly the same as the pointer so I'm using sort of a pink gem in the middle and then some um, lighter pink opal gems at each side and I'm using some rose gold caviar beads to go around those stones and I just think they went really well I've had these in my drawer for ages and I haven't had anything to use them on so when I'm happy with where they all are that just gets a cure and I did cure it for 60 seconds just to make sure that nothing moves and then this is the finished result so it was um you know the 3d petals can be a bit fiddly but apart from that it was just gel, gel polish and rhinestones so I really love the way that these look I prefer the petals on the ring finger because I got used to using the gel a bit more but I really do like the colours and I love those milky jellies in matte as well so I hope you like this set too if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're not so already subscribed please consider subscribing and then hit the notification bell so that YouTube will let you know when I upload a new video Links to everything used in the video will be in the description box as usual along with my discount code for Born Pretty which is 10% and that's also at the top of the screen there. So that is it for this one so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!